We're here with Prosecutor Rick Damerville. I understand you offered Mike Ruggles a plea agreement. Can you tell us what that plea agreement was? I, I may, first of all, that this hearing is called a Fry hearing. Um, and it's designated that because of a fairly recent United States Supreme Court decision in a case called Fry versus Missouri, I think. Um, prior to Fry versus Missouri, um, most people had interpreted the Sixth Amendment, that is, a defendant's right to uh, effective assistance of counsel, only applied to trials. And in Fry versus Missouri, the United States Supreme Court acknowledged the evidence that 95% of all criminal trials are resolved before trial so that it's equally important that a defendant have a um, effective assistance not only during his trial but before his trial. And in Fry, uh, Mr. Fry alleged that um, his defense attorney had just denied a state's plea offer um, without ever conveying that offer to him. You know, it's sort of like being a real estate person. If a real estate person um, gets an offer from a buyer to, to, uh, to buy a seller's property, he, even though that offer may be much lower than what the seller had previously indicated he was willing to accept, he still has an obligation to inform the seller of what the offer is. And that kind of applies to uh, criminal cases as well. So in, in Fry, the Supreme Court found that failing to convey that offer to a criminal defendant could be ineffective assistance of counsel. And of course, the prosecutors in that case felt that was unfair. And one of the uh, justices, and I can't remember who at the time, um, basically said that the um, state could protect itself because there's an intermediate person here. There's a defense attorney. The state could protect itself from any um, ineffectiveness by defense counsel by having a hearing, now called a Fry hearing, to state that an offer has been conveyed, this is the nature of the offer, um, and has the defendant have a colloquy with the defendant saying, did you receive the offer? Have you gone over the offer? Have you talked to, concerning the offer with your client? And ultimately, ask the defendant whether or not he accepts the offer or not. And so an offer was made, it was made in writing. What the writing itself says is really not all that important and I, I don't want to prejudice Mr. Ruggles' um, right to a fair trial should he decide to go to trial by making a big public ado about what the plea offer is. But there was one made and you, and you kind of heard it in, in court today. Okay, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you.